somebody who I invited on to, to record a radio show and podcast. And I realized she not only has broken the gra- glass ceiling, but she's gone on to shatter it in every possible way. She's sharp, she's beautiful, she's on every possible young CEO and women CEOs list on the planet. And if you look at our brand, which is simply called View, you know that she's taken it to the next level like only she can. And when I say she's been on every single CEO's list, I really mean it. Allow me the opportunity to tell you about a couple of them. She's listed as one of Fortune's top 50 most powerful women in India. She's been an op-ed columnist for the Wall Street Journal. She's a member of the Mensa, the High IQ Society of Harvard Business School. She's also a member of the Harvard Business School alumni, a very prominent part of that. The first chairman and CEO of the View Group, like I said, breaking the glass ceiling and going on to shatter it. Please welcome the very bright and beautiful Devita Saraf. Thank you for that introduction and it is so nice to attend an event after so long and see so many of you here. Uh, very, very big shoes to follow with, uh, you know, Mr. Jimmy Mystery coming right before me. And I was telling Baman that time, I said, doesn't he look like a Baba Elon Musk? And I think it's very important that we equate, and I'll tell you why, Elon Musk as someone important that India needs. I'll tell you why. One of the things that I felt when I was building my business is the role models of our country, the people the youth look up to, the most famous celebrities of our country, the thought leaders of our country, are usually only entertainers. Whereas abroad, when in the US where I studied, whether it was Steve Jobs or Elon Musk or Zuckerberg or across the pond at Richard Branson, etc., It was always entrepreneurs who were seen as role models, who were seen as the thought leaders. If you like ask the young person in the US today, who do you want to be when you grow up? Who is your role model? And nine out of 10 times from multiple generations, they would mention entrepreneurs. And I think it's very important that if India has to grow as a country, of course, we are like the 0.00001% being represented here today. But we're the ones who have to drive the future of the country. And we have to make sure that we enable through organizations like this, but we also become role models for the youth of India who says, you know what, I want to grow up and I want to be like Jimmy Mystery. I want to grow up, I want to be like Bamani Rani. I want to grow up, I want to be like every other member out here. I can give you my personal journey and why I was so excited to be part of DLC. When I started my brand many years ago, I decided at that time that it would be easier for me to be the face of my own business because most of the actors and cricketers were much older. It was considered so rare at that time for a CEO to be in their own ad that Forbes International did a story called India's Model CEO. And it was almost an oxymoron that a CEO has to be either really smart or they have to have great personality and be fashionable. It was also not very easy for me to find the right cohort for myself. At one side, I would be attending Forbes Fortune events, you know, going to Harvard Business School, learning the ropes, learning the best of how do you build a massive tech companies. At the same time, I would be going up to people like Anita Shroff here who would style me for a Vogue shoot and be like, oh, please teach me, you know, what I should do to look best in my ads. And of course, my peers here like uh, Isha and Tanya. And so it's always been like a sort of oxymoron that if you are in business, you can't be glamorous. And if you're in the glamour industry, you probably don't have the smarts for business, which is not true. I think today everyone wants to be it all, everyone wants to have it all, everyone wants to do it all and that really appealed to me about DLC. When Pearl called me and she said, listen, I want you to be part of this thing that we're creating, I was so excited that it is not unilateral. For the first time, I can actually be talking business 
and fashion and leadership and multitude of things that interest me which i feel will create the personality the mindset the sort of uh, persona of what we think the future entrepreneur celebs of this country should be so i'm very excited to be here i think personally very excited for the fact and big hand and kudos to you here because she's wearing this resplendent dress with a head uh, headphone mic i mean it really shows that you know when you want to get a job done you put a woman on the job so good on you paul very proud of you so um, i'm very proud to be part of dela happy to represent in dela colors today and for all of you who are here i think we all have a responsibility in my opinion to make the best of everything that uh, dela has to offer us and then create and be and also promote the future role models and celebrities and business celebrities of the future so thank you so much and congratulations to everyone in the team